Scott Parlins, and I'm the director of product support for Link Studio Technology. Uh, we're here at the NAMM Show in Anaheim celebrating our 10th anniversary. We've been 10 years in business. Uh, a good 10 years. I haven't been here for all that time, but the company's been around for 10. We're having a party tomorrow. Celebrate that for anyone here in Anaheim. Today at the show, we're uh, showing our newest product in our line, the AS16E. It's our first PCIe card. So it can be used inside of a uh, Intel-based Mac with PCIe slots, or a G5 with PCIe slots, or a PC. Um, it provides 16 channels of AES CPU digital, so you can connect it to your converters, digital mixer, um, any other AES CPU device that you have in your studio. A couple unique things about it, one is that it also has a port that we developed called LStream where you can connect 16 channels of ADAT, or you can connect 16 channels out to our Aurora converters to go with it as well. So it's actually a 32 channel interface when you use it in that, in that mode. And it also has something called AES50 that shows up here. This is a new standard. It's a way of moving a lot of audio over one cable that can handle 48 channels of audio through a single ethernet cable. So that's also on board with the AS16E. This card is shipping next month. We're seeing incredible performance on it as far as latency with the PCIe bus. It takes advantage of the higher bandwidth. And we're seeing performance down to half a millisecond of latency. So it's great for anyone who uses virtual instruments or, um, or is just concerned about low latency performance with software monitoring. That's the AS16E shipping next month. I'll show you right over here. This is our Aurora line of A to D and D to A converters. This is the Aurora 16, so it's 16 channels of analog in and out and 16 channels of AES EMU digital in and out, up to 32 channels at a time. This can be used standalone as a converter with any other recording system that has digital inputs and outputs. We also make some interface cards to expand its capabilities. And right now we're showing this with our LTHD card. This allows the Aurora to be used as an interface for Pro Tools HD instead of using a uh, DigiDesign interface. There's some, a number of advantages there. The conversion quality is excellent, very transparent, clear. These are really high-end, very clear converters. Anytime you don't want a lot of coloration, but a uh, really honest capture of the audio source, very good imaging, you can hear very deep into reverb tails, uh, very high-end piece. The Aurora 16 will behave as if it's two 192 I.O. interfaces, uh, but in one rack space, no fan, for about the same price as a single 192 I.O. So it's a great value, but it's also a, an audio quality upgrade. 16 channels of input now. showing the Aurora 8 in the rack there. Back again, uh, high performance single, single rack you need to connect. A single rack you need to connect to. So this is an eight channel version of the Aurora. It's identical to the 16, but just half as many channels. Uh, ASCBU and analog I.O. We're showing this here with the LTFW card. So this is an, another expansion card. We have these FireWire capabilities. In this mode, the Aurora is connected via FireWire to a laptop. So that gives the same converter quality as the Aurora, but available for remote and portable recording situations, or any computer that uses FireWire, a Mac or a PC. Um, there's a control application where you get real-time meters, uh, routing capabilities. Uh, there's a number of different settings you have access to via software. So, it's the uh, perfect solution for high-end recording with a uh, portable rig. So, those are the three newest products we've got out right now. This is an addition to our line of uh, PCI audio cards and uh, other audio products, all available on our website, which is linkstudio.com. And again, we're here celebrating our 10th year, and uh, hello to everyone out there from Anaheim.